Hi Columbus Football Moms! My name is Natalie and I will be guiding you through this video on how to design and order your book. After you have downloaded your files and added them to your device, go to photoprostore.com forward slash pics. Click here on design book. The first step is to create an account. This will allow you to save your work if you need more time to complete the project. So go to sign in and fill out the new account. First name, last name, email, and password. Once the account is created, you can sign in and you will see your name up at the top. To go back to a previous job, click on your name Go to current projects and right now we have no saved projects but once you save one it will be viewable here. Begin your creation. So this is the designer. The bottom is the backgrounds for the 50 page book. The left side is where you will add your photos. Choose layouts and choose your themes, or in other words, your backgrounds. Let's start with the first page. To switch around on the pages, just click on them in the bottom tabs. So this page is designated for your banner picture. So go to Add Photos. Select Files to Upload. Find your banner pictures. I'm going to be using some examples from last year. and upload. It will appear now on the left hand side. I highly recommend that you add in your photos a little bit at a time depending on the page that you're working on. So you're going to drag it and drop it into the background. To make the image bigger just click on the little corners, the square corners, and pull them to extend them the size that you want. For this one, we recommend that it fills up the whole screen. And you're done with that page. The next 10 pages are set pages. They cannot be deleted or edited in any way. Feel free to look through them as they will be in your final book. Now the next 8 pages here are for memories. Senior, junior, sophomore, freshman, earlier years your mom and dad, and the biggest fans. You can use the pages like they are, or you can change the backgrounds to make them more custom. For example, let's start with senior year. So you want to go add photos, select files to upload, and find all the photos from your senior year. Open, and upload. Once again, they will appear on the left hand side. You can drag in the pictures that you want to use for this page. Let's take a second to go through your options here. So the first option is the lock image position. When you click the button, it locks the image so you can't move it around. Image crop allows you to crop the image in to make it a different proportion. Make sure you hit apply when you're finished. Rotate allows you to rotate the image. You can also do that with this square up here by moving it, clicking on it and moving it around. Pan and zoom allows you to zoom in on the image by dragging this little ball in and out. You can also make this bigger here. Swap image allows you to choose another image that you want to use for that box. You can also press this button if you want to use it as your background, which I don't really recommend.
If you have a lot of images layered on top of each other, you can use these two to bring the, the layer up or down. So this one sends it backwards, and this one brings it forward. And you can use this button to remove the image altogether. It'll ask you, and you can remove it or cancel. This option down here allows you to add a border to the image. You can choose a color. Is it regular, which is square or rounded corners? You can choose the size of the border. You can also choose to apply to all in the book or apply to your page. I'll apply it to all the images on this page. Now just lay out the images the way you want them to appear in the book. And when you're done, you can move on to the next page. This next page is blank. You can use it as it is, as a continuation for your senior year, or you can choose a new background under the Themes tab, and you can choose certain layouts or image placeholders under the Layout tab. If you have three more images that you would like to use, you can use one of these layouts that have three boxes, and then it'll be easy to just drag and drop the images that you want to use for that page. Notice, the Layouts tab is only available on backgrounds that have no writing. So for this junior year memories, the layout is disabled. But for backgrounds that are plain with no writing, you can use the Layout tab very easily. So a little disclaimer, if you want to use the Layouts tab, and you see here that you have one, two, three more photos, you can choose Layouts, find the layout that has three um, squares and click on it and it'll populate the page with the three photos that you have left. If you don't want it to auto populate I highly recommend that you just choose from the drop down menu to insert placeholders and instead of populating them it'll give you the placeholders for you to use. But this is why I said in the beginning that I highly recommend that you upload your photos in little by little instead of all at one time. So you can edit the way the cropping is by pan and zoom. Bring it down. Apply. This one, I think we should switch these two because the anchor down is getting cut off. So I'm going to swap image for this one, and I'm going to swap this image for this one. And I'm going to pan and zoom this image so we can read anchor down. Apply. Say I want to add some borders to this page. I'm going to go add border, choosing white. Um, bring it down to one point because I like the thinner borders and apply to the page. And now I'm done. You can do the same thing for the rest of these pages here, designing them the way you choose. Game pictures. Now let's work on the game pages. So you go to add photos, choose photos from that game, I'm going to go ahead and press this button hide used so that it filters out all the photos that I've already used and it just gives me the ones that I need to add for this game. So we have a few generic pages. So basically the games will be on two pages. One side which is our left side and the other side which is our right side. We have left in for you the generic spreads that we designed for our generic book with a few highlights of the game. You can choose to leave those, or if you want to create your own design, you go to Themes. Scroll all the way down, and we have a blank background with the game ticket on there that you can go ahead and add your own photos into.
And when you're done, you can just continue to the next page. I have one, two, three, four, five images left, but I noticed that these two look quite similar, so I'm going to choose a layout with only four placeholders. Continue on with the rest of the games. Now the cover page. In our themes, we have all the player's cover pages. Find the appropriate player and just click on his image and it'll appear in the cover page spot. But before we continue, let me show you how to save your work. If you need to come back to your work, you can save it by clicking the Saved button and wait till it says Order Saved here at the bottom. And that's it. When you are happy with your designs, click Next and Continue Order. You can review your order here, describe any special instructions here, and then when you are ready, add to cart. I know most of the books were prepaid, so don't worry about the price. You have a promotion code to be entered into this page that will deduct this price. Proceed to checkout. Select Pick Up at Store, although we will have your books delivered to your ceremony. Fill out the billing name. Continue. Again, press Continue. And order now. When you're finished with your order, you will receive a confirmation page and email. If you do not receive the confirmation page and email, please contact us. That's it. Thank you for watching. Your books will be something that you treasure forever. Have a great day.